The tiles must be held in vertical position, resting on the ground the largest side. The placement of a slip resistant layer between the ground and the material is recommended to protect edges and corners. It shall be carried out preferably using suction caps for handing glass. We will need a supporting frame as well as two operators wearing a pair of shoes and safety gloves, keeping their spinal column straight during the lifting operation. We should have at hand an essential work tool made up by cutting tools, a frame for large format, an angle grinder or a glass cutter, handling tools, such as a frame with suction caps or single suction caps, placement tools, self-leveling systems, nut trowels and rubber trowel. Maximum stability conditions regarding the surfaces must be required. Apart from the general delivery state of the fixing surface, an entirely fixing surface flatness of 1.5 mm measured by a 2 m rule must be demanded to install the arc lamp ceramic tile. Finally, the preparation of reference marks to leaven and align the pieces is needed. The foreseen environmental conditions during the execution process as well as its impact on the surfaces and the adhesive, should be evaluated, especially in outdoor installations. In the proper phase of a new work, we must opt for a new generation adhesive and high performances, bearing these marks linked to their characteristics. C2ES2, in which C implies that is cement-based. The 2 means upgraded. E refers to open time, and finally is 2 as highly deformable. We will need the adhesive as prescribed by the manufacturer until obtaining a homogeneous mass. First, we will spread the cement adhesive over the entire underside of the tiles with a 3 mm notch trowel. It must be filled with no empty spaces nor lack of material. On the support, we will spread the adhesive into an area equivalent to that of the piece, with a 10 mm notch trowel this time. We will make it in the same direction so that the hollows let any air inside escape. We will transport the tile. Then, we will place it primly into the glued area. We shall annul the suction caps and remove the frame. Then, we will tap the piece with a rubber trowel to eliminate any air bubble. It is made up of three essential elements, the basis, the wedges and the pliers. It gives us a dual function. It ensures us a correct leveling of the tiles, absorbing any irregularities affecting the surface. It reduces time to placement. It is particularly recommended for large format, ground pieces and low thickness. First, we will prepare a stable and flat working surface, larger than the tile to be cut. Second, we will score at both ends the cutting line with a pencil. Third, we will lock the cutting guide in place using the section pads so that it sticks tightly on and cannot move. Fourth, we will score the ceramic tile. Fifth, we will pull the cutting guide sliding the slab so that the cutting line is right on the edge of the workbench. Then, release the section pads to free the cutting guide and pull it to the center of the tile. Sixth, 
break off the score section by attaching the pliers to one end. In line with the score mark made on the surface, gradually push in until it starts to break. How to cut ceramic tiles with a glass cutter. First, we will place the arc lamp tile on the work bent and score the cutting line at both ends. Second, we will take a spirit level or similar as a support. Then, we will trace a firm and uniform pressure line from point to point scored. Third, we will perform the break using the pliers, gradually pushing until the tile breaks. How to cut ceramic tiles with an angle grinder? High speeds of rotation and low fit rate must be chosen to obtain a good result. We will preferably use wet cutting continuous rim diamond tile saw.